Hello, this is Karen Burke from Karen Burke Photography and today I'm going to make a tutorial on, to, on how to create a snow overlay and or a sparkles overlay. Um, this will be the snow that we end up with and first we're going to create a new file and make it 300 by 300. Make sure it's um, RBG color and you can title it Snow Snow Brush or whatever you want to title it. Okay and I like to make it black so I can see what I'm doing use the paint bucket make sure it says shows black here just drop it on I'm going to move my brush pilot over here for now I'm going to create a new layer that's the one you're going to work on okay you're going to go into your brushes and you're going to choose a soft brown brush Round. We'll start with 18. How to see how that looks, and make sure you're in white. And you're going to put a few different size snowflakes down. Scatter them. Um, 18. Uh, let's see what else we have. Try a 14. Okay. Let's just try that. I find if I put too many down it gets too busy. Alright, so we're going to close that and you're going to hit your um, magic wand tool and it's going to encircle all of your snowflakes you're going to select inverse and then you're going to go to image adjustment invert and then it's going to turn everything dark and that's what you want and that's just the way I do it there's so many ways to do things in Photoshop and then you're going to go to edit define brush preset and you could put uh, just label it snow brush mine and that'll be your newest brush at the bottom of your of your brush layers okay then we're going to close this out and we're going to create a new file and this will be a large file we'll go 6000 by 4,000. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing again. Use the paint bucket. Fill it in black. Then we're going to take our new brush right here and you're going to have, probably have to resize it. If, for, if you're working pretty small, you want to make sparkles with it, um, then you just you just kind of go and see what what size works for you. Um, in order to get it look ran looking random, you're going to click on. Let me get rid of this so I can show you how to pull it up. You're going to go to Window, Brush, and that's going to 
make sure the brush tab is picked you're going to hit shape dynamics and then your size jitter maybe around 100 let me see I, I get I get a little funny with these I, I forget <laughs> which one so you gotta play with it um, I like to put it on fade angle jitter that this this will affect um, you hit it here and then when you hit it here it's going to be angled differently so it's not uniform every time you you add it um, I'm pointing at the screen as if you can see me okay scattering you're gonna want to scatter it a bit you're going to you can also click on fade there um, angle jitter um, what I like to do too and I just kinda I stumbled upon this today is I click on dual brush what it does I don't know but I like the effect um, <laughs> so let's see let's see what we've got here and just click 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 just drag don't drag the brush just kinda dance around the screen and add let me go back this this is this is the fun of uh, doing this unprepared so we're gonna go into my history and here we go we're hung up again hello okay all right it's always best to do this on a separate layer so we're gonna go back to the paint bucket and create a new layer just want to show you how to do it right instead of forgetting okay let's make sure all our settings are still yep where all our settings are still the way I put it on the on the brush preset we're on the white we're on the new layer and just add them in what you can do too is once you get a few in you can change the size of the brush either make it make it a little bit bigger and can put a couple in that are a little bit bigger this works great for sparkles snow you gotta it's hard to um, get it realistic looking and I don't really care if it's super realistic looking in my things because I'm, I'm making digital art and I think people know that hopefully after they see my work going in that I'm not trying to fool anybody <laughs> okay so let's let's just assume this is done and what you can do is you're going to want to save this as a JPEG if you want to go in if you think you've overdone it you can create um, a layer mask and just get a um, regular brush soft brush and take a few out if you want to or you, it's up to you okay let's just say that's good so we're gonna file save as and what I do is I have a whole in my pictures I've got photo effects where I have all my all my um, things I've got animals architecture backgrounds um, light effects objects most of its mine some of its not I've got layer cake collection which I I use I'm on the fence whether it's worth getting or not. Um, I used it for my under the sea and I loved it because the water splashes were perfect. So I may find that I'm using it more often. Um, so then what I do is I'll put it in the folder that I that I like to put my light effects in and we're going to save it as a JPEG and call it snow cancel my big fingers save as JPEG snow overlay and there you go it's saved now what you can do I've got a picture pulled up here um, let's pull up the one without the snow on it no snow open with 
Photoshop. Okay, there's my dark-eyed Junko from my backyard. And what you can do is window, arrange, float in window, you pull it off to the side. Really? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> it doesn't want to do it. All right, we won't float in window. But when you're not recording a video, you can float it in a window and then pull it over your uh, your photo. Let's see if we can get it over far enough. Okay, let me just flatten that. And then what I can do, hopefully, is pull it over my bird picture. Yes. Okay, let me close this. Oy vey. Okay. Now we're on this. You hit Control T, just to, because it's it's it, I, we saved it as a big file for a reason, so it'll fit over most pictures. You can make it a lot smaller. You can make it a lot bigger. But if you make it a lot bigger, your snowflakes are going to be a lot bigger. You've got it pulled over your photo. You hit Screen, and you've got Falling Snow. What I like to do is, which I've said probably a million times if you've watched any of my tutorials is I like to click on filter blur motion blur and give it it's probably at the angle that I already use give it a little movement the birds focused on so even it, it's gonna it's gonna the snowflakes will be moving in the background I'll show you I'll click off the preview show you how that works Okay, and you can go in, and if you don't want a snowflake someplace near the bird's face, you could take it off. Um, what you can do to put snow in the background a little further back is hit Control J, Control T, Control J duplicates, Control T is free transform, hit the Shift key while you're transforming it so the proportions stay the way you want them. You can flip it horizontal and flip it vertical so that it's a little bit scattered differently than the one up front. Hit OK. And then you because it's further back it's gonna not be not you're not gonna want it to stand out so much so you're gonna decrease the opacity a bit. And what you can do is can copy that layer again. Control J, Control T and move it to put some more snow that is set back over here. And that's how you create snow. If you wanted to create um, sparkles, what you can do is, we'll shut this off, we'll shut this off, we'll shut this off, and we will delete that layer mask so we have the original back. And what you can do is you can find do your snow and that'll be your sparkles. Then you can go in and find some shapes that are pre-cut or you can make your own by making your own brush. I have um, a star brush, I have a, a sparkle brush, but I'll show you with a a pre-cut PNG what you can do because it's in it I believe I got this on DeviantArt um, you can just search it so we got pictures photo effect light effect this is very nice. Uh, looks like it's Pixie Vamp stock. I believe I got it on DeviantArt. Um, I'll put a link up. Um, you put them up, make them bigger, smaller. Um, you're going to set it to screen. You could you know, try the try the adjustment modes and see how they look. You could do um, color dodge. Well, not color dodge. Color burn. It should show up on Color Dodge. Well, nothing goes well. We'll put it on screen. And you can Control J, Control T. I 
my finger isn't working right today. Control J, duplicate, gets brighter, Control T. Move it, you could angle it a little differently, make it smaller. Okay. Now, put as many of these in as you want. You can find stars to put in. Um, one thing I did, which uh, I thought worked out pretty well, and we're going to try it here and hope it, it works, is you're going to hit the... Let's flatten this. You're going to hit the um, magic wand and then that's going to, you're going to select inverse, that's going to select all your sparkles and all your um, uh, snowflakes and you are going to create a new layer and you're going to add a little bit color to these flakes. We'll try like a golden, maybe somewhere in here. And we're going to do that. And we're going to hit color dodge. Now that'll give you a little color to it. And let's hit control D to deselect. And there you go, you've got some color to your sparkles. Um, then you just save this as um, sparkle overlay, whatever you want to call it. Save it as a JPEG. And there you've got something that you can go back to. Let's see how it looks over the bird. All right. Let's see if we can get this window to float. Window, arrange floating window. We're on here. Let's flatten this. And we're going to drag it over the bird and hit screen. There you go. And you could resize that. You could, um, if you find that what you make isn't bright enough, you could go over it with a, uh, a dodge brush to brighten. Um, there's lots of things you can do. I hope you find this helpful and uh, we'll see you again. Thank you.